All right, guys, we are back. Uh, last time I left you, you were looking at this wonderful dragon. We had just finished the um, sort of cave, the cave wall cave, yes, uh, that started with the obnoxious amount of spiders leading into it that completely whooped my butt, but we made it through. And now we're back, back in the school, doing some stuff. Did not mean to throw a cabbage out like that. Oh, ah, ah. Meant to hit my book instead, my field guide. Okay, so what do we do? We want to do the flying class, for sure. Focus potion, maximum endurance potion. And use them simultaneously. So I know there's gear that I want to sell. So maybe we just start off on a Hogsmeade right away. Sell some crap. Maybe get that potion. And learn how to fly. Maybe get a broom. Like an awesome broom. Adventure, are we? Indeed. I like breaking the rules. Staying out late, you know. Clearly, as a student, I'm not supposed to be here at this time of night. But I don't care. Clearly, this little girl doesn't care either. Where are your parents? Go home. Go to sleep. It's late. Alright, let me see if I can get one of these stores here. Hello. Open up. Well, hello there. You must Come in, be. look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Chocolate frogs? These store owners must be pissed. It's probably like clo closing time where they're at. And they're like, oh, this douche walking in, having to take up my valuable time. I'm trying to close up shop, and he wants to just bother me with selling wares not even buying anything good so all of these are negative down to what i have currently um except for this one i was i'm not level 18 so i'm gonna make sure i don't get rid of these two but i can sell this sell this this and that. I've got more wares than you do, sir. And I loot, loot stop them. Money, 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 money. Okay, save these two. I don't know how much I care about buying it. I bet you all this stuff is just... Oh, that's a 38. Chinese fireball scar, but only need level 13 to acquire. Okay, whatever. Don't care. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Mm hmm. Let's drink some tea. Thank you. A Maxima and Endurance Potion. Use them sign So, uh, there's a potion shop around here, right? Here? Now? Over there? And these fools. Revelio. 24 7. When Seymour is around. That's how valuable of a customer I am. What you did! Whoa. Have, have Whoa. no tolerance for thieves! 
Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? <laughs> I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir, we'd never take more than those. <laughs> I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. <laughs> that was a bit harsh. Hey, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing out of school? Huh? Come back to your door. <laughs> Only I can steal stuff. All these damn kids running around. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Um, no, what I need is an Endurus potion. Oh, I need a Focus potion. A wise decision. Thank you. And an Endurus potion. Visibility. I don't need that. I got my invisibility spell. Maximum. Oh crap, was it? Was the endurance was it maximum pushing? Well, whatever. I'll buy. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, so I seriously endurance? Oh, it was Max, but an endurance. Use them sign simultaneously. Oh no, it was all three. Okay, good. Okay. Yourself, though, let's have you leave here alive. Lumos, guessing it's above us. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Indeed, I am. <laughs> See. Unlike those other kids, I steal and I don't get caught. Um, that, uh, oh, there is something in here. Revelio. Such a wee bairn gain a thrashing to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Always must Revelio. An item. All right, be a 
Beatrice, what are you about? Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I Terrible. suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stalk so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. She's like the crazy weird aunt of Professor Garlic, isn't she? Someone died. Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really. That it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. Mm okay. Right, what what do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Cabbage. Mandrake. Hmm. Shoot acid in your way, anyway. Fertilizer? Seeds? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. Doors maybe I'll always open. Come back for that. You be sure to stop by soon. Hogsmeade, here I come. What was I doing? It was. Searching for enemies, right? But I suppose if I don't find... Oh, also that butterfly ray is here. Right, I think this is the... Yeah, there you are. Lumos. Follow me, little butterfly, dragonfly, whatever fly you are. Full of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. Mm -hmm. Easy. Give me that level 18. No? Okay, you know what? Just to get through this, so I'm just gonna use this. Stone Maxima, yeah, buddy. Focus, excellent. Lumos, in power for the Levioso, incendio. Expelliarmus. Mm. Powerful. Okay. Potions. So I'll attend this class, and then I'll go to the flying class. Bam. Uh, Hogwarts. Obviously, I just drink potions, right? But he's going to teach me a spell to go along with it, I guess. Yeah. 
Working hard, sir. Oh. Oh, if I can only get your master's sock and toss it to you. You know, I never did go this way, did I? Oh. Dang it. Attended during the day, but I was totally there at night, right? Nobody sleeps in this castle. And that's how you make a love potion. Class. Now go use it to infatuate others. It this time, I can't get back in there. Okay, Revelio. Good. How are your assignments coming along? Good. Good. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Let's concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Hmm. Little half crescent. Oh, shit. Easy. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Hmm. Okay. For now, we'll put it on here just so it's not sitting by itself. Three. Well done. I'm glad Get to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell. Get out of your books. No learning. Me at all. Still at it, I see. No. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Back home room. Midterms. No SATs. Chair. And. The pulse up. Get out of here, chair. Let's see, what else? Um. I can't think of any other. Either way. Outside, yes, there's a floof. Anybody ever um, listen to the comedian uh, Fluffy, right? Gabriel Iglesias. He goes by Fluffy. So these are the Fluffy Flames, the Floof Flames. Anyways, that's where floof. That's where I got it from, really. I was thinking of fluffy, but it's kind of flu, so I said floof. Random, but now you know. Who do you think will fall from their room first? Revelio. It's about to get real. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. 
This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. I already have. Diving, rolling, and loop the loops cool. will not be taught or be in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, <laughs> let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. There's not like a up. training wheels or anything for these brooms, you know, Thank starter's you. broom. Now, your turn. Up. Or up. helmet. Up, you, know, you stupid case, like, ratty school broom. Um, up. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Definitely gonna give me a broom that has at least a little bike saddle or something to it. You know? And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. That Good. Is to hurt now, the for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do Troll take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Descend. 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 And forward. Descend. I feel like I'm going Wish I had my own really broom. Slow. <laughs> this is brilliant. Shoom. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yeah, bring the speed. What am I doing? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh. Ah. What uh, a view! Shift. There we go. <laughs> Peace. Hello. Nice day for a flight. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I don't know ah, how much I like having good. shift as my. I've got this. Oh, this is good. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Oh, it's toggle on. Okay, nice. Never mind. Take that back. What I just said. Easy. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? No, they're all looking at me, not you. Oh, well done! Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Yes, I am. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, this care is to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Uh, yeah, I like the sound of that. I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. I don't know how much I like the way he talks. The tour is but, about to begin. Whatever. Follow closely now. Oh. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Shit. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Indeed. Indubitably. Ahead of the gardens. 
The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Shoo. How is Everett flying so quickly? I don't know. I'm only beating his ass right Here's now, something though. handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, shit. There's the famous bridge. Shoot. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Indeed. Flying tips there, and you know. a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Nice. Nice. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Hurry. That's what I'm talking about. Like like every already day. dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Shoo. Dismount here. Shit, how do you stop? Ah! Oh, B. Talk of light speed, sends in on speed burst. Okay. And where have you two been? Nowhere. Washing the windows. Oh, you know, hello, Professor. Little, little we were dusty. trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty two. points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. We were doing a public service, Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... still, because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Nah, Chin up. Nah, not gonna happen. That was some rather good flying. Oh, uh, thank you. That was the clear, like, I'm telling you this because I am a Sorry professor, about that business with Kagawa. What you did was pretty awesome. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Indeed. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I will. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. All right, all right, all right. Level 18. What the yeah. Uh, inventory. How do I get to the unidentified? Like, how do I identify the unidentified? Wasn't there a scarf that was like legendary? Or, yeah, much more badass than what I had. Kind of a cool dragon, but. Mm, nah. Nah. Not, a, not, not a big scarf wearer. I don't know about you guys, but not a scarf wearer. Okay. No challenges. So that means we could totally go to Hogsmeade. And maybe buy a a uh, broom. Like so many things to discover. Maybe the first thing I do when I get a broom is just fly all the way down to the edge of this map here. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. There's that. Okay, well. Hogsmeade. Oh, that's right. There's all those sneaky chests that I haven't gotten there anyways, right? A lot more field guide pages. Demiguy statues. That's what those are. Like, how do you... I don't know how to work those things. Forty page, right? So, floof here. Floofing. A floof. forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Mm. Yeah. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I'm an errand boy now? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Ooh, man, everybody wants to get in touch with me about something secret or something illegal. I like it. Um, crap, what was, what was I doing? Broom, broom, that's what I was doing. Oh, there is a side mission here. What is this? Light test? Alright, so we'll go here. Which apparently I'm right next to anyways. Jeez. Just gonna go around. Uh, Move it, people. Revelio. Got to be team in here, right? Sorry, sir. Before I talk to anybody, I must loot all the loots. Steal from your shop before I be good Samaritan and say, yes, I will help you. With whatever you need, sir. Whatever you need. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. Man, and I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. Mm. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. Whatever, I don't care. Let's just, just show Sounds up. quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Something fast and furious that chicks will dig. So I already got the cool scar. I got the lovely hair. Now I need the ride. Uh, Murdash broom. I can preview. That item is of the highest quality. Mm. Perfect broom for those with a fiery temper temperament. Oh, already, I'm already liking that one. That item is of the highest quality. Doesn't look like it. That's uh, you got your own headlight. That's kind of cool. And some saddlebags. That item is of the highest quality. And more headlights. 
All right. Oh, that's a little like harsh. Hook. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, the ladies out there know what I'm talking about. Little hooks that you can put on the side of the table and it holds your purse. That item is of the highest quality. Can we spin this around? No? No, we buy this one. Uh, this one looks like the runt of the family, right? It's just sad. That item is of the highest quality. Yep, there you go, this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Okay. Okay, I got a broom. Now what do I do? Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement. Word. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom That's you nice. fly. Nice. What I need is someone Turbo to conduct charging. a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? What say are you? Or what say I? I say yay. Don't care about your passion. Whatever, I'm gonna get upgrades, so whatevs. And I'm sure he did, so. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. All right. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. No fly zones. Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Okay. Well, lame that I have to wait for this broom. I want it now, you know, instant gratification. Don't they know this? What is this? Plugging herself in the three branch station. She mentioned something about a swarm of butterflies. Did I overhear that? There was a potion thing, right, too? There's another guy here in this one. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go there and we'll do the potion thing. Revelio. I hear it, team. It's far away. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Yeah, cut all those limbs off of my opponents. Except one of those chests. Sneakity sneak chests. There's one of those sneakity sneak chests. Excuse me, can't see me. Give me 500. Ah. Revelio. That is the wizarding sign spinner. 
I, I totally said spin sign, didn't I? Sign spinner of the wizarding world. Even here, the marketing works. Look at it. Those military steps have never used an unforgivable curse in their lives. Who's that? Hello there. In the market for potions? Revelio. No, I'm in the market to talk about your. Is that outside? Your task that you have. Do you wish for me to do? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Hmm. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Mm. I feel like this is a conversation you should have with your customer, sir. Not sending a fifth year to go do your bidding. Revelio. Uh, okay, where am I? It's south of Hogwarts. Oh, I could maybe take the long way around just to... I think it's really south. Wish I had a broom. Do I really want to run that? For the sake of just going to see what this is? a small little place. I don't know how much I want to run that. So we'll floof here and then we'll run south. And maybe get this one. Maybe when I get a room, maybe I can fly back over here instead. Yeah, I think that's a better use of my time. Chesty chess. Already talked to that dude once. Or a mountain bike. Use a mountain bike. Ugh. Right, Ram? Got it. Collecting 
the crap out of these moonstones, right? Yeah, so does it give me an ingredient, ingredient commonly used for conjuration magic? It is found in every region and acquired by breaking crystallized stone. So I imagine the better I get with potions, I might be able to actually use this for something. Oh, maximum potion. Invisibility. Wigan well. Focus potion. Didn't need. Okay. Well. It better be badass whatever I'm collecting these moonstones for. I feel like it's probably not though because they're so common. Where is my map taking me? Go all the way around? side quest right here or is this directly where she's at I'm not opposed to going cross country I got my hiking boots on anyway right? uh, jump. Uh, jump. I don't know what is wanting to what are those what are those wolves <laughs> That's right, eat spear, bitch. Soggy soup. With some uh, or a hairy soup, rather. What is this? There's an icon. What's the icon? What kinds of fish heads? Okay. That there's gonna be another entrance for him. Is that the exit maybe? Hmm. That'd be like an entrance, or I mean, like an exit. Uh. Moonstone! That's an odd, peculiar stone. Female deer. Run, 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 run. Mr. Top Hat. Mr. Top Hat. Mr. Top Hat. Run, 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 run. Exercising. Hope there's a floof out here. Just in case I need to come back. Though it's definitely only coming back with a broom. Revelio. Oh. Oh. 
It's a uh, Merlin's Merlin's beard. It's a trial. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Incendio! Expelliarmus! Levioso! Huh. Oh, those are moons. Several. These... These candles, do they light up with... These fireflies? Are these fireflies? And Lumos. They're <gasps> like fire butterflies. Shit, where am I going? Here. You go in there? Yes. Okay. Uh so this one here. There's some more flies there. Come on, flies. Lumos. Hey. Hello, me. There's a chest right there, too. Chest, real quick. Chest. Chesty chest. I'm gonna pick up some speed here and I'm gonna jump all the way across. Look at that. In long jump competition. Revelio. What did the balloons do? I wonder. Scared. Look at him. Oh, so scared. Don't shoot your hand at me. Inside. If I only had a brain. Because, 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 Always because like that. that looks like a mere Limbeard's ball, which is over there. Uh. And this chick is right here. I hope you are awesome because I came a long way for you, lady. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Hey. Doesn't matter. Easy. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Look. 
I don't know what's going on between the two of you. Maybe there's an underlying attraction that two of you just aren't um, acknowledging. And if that's the case, maybe you all just need to talk to each other. But as you said, I'm just a kid. I'm just a boy. Just looking to get a little extra cash. You know, just doing a job. Maybe he's not being lazy. Maybe he had something to do. Why don't you ask that? Why do you assume ill intent? Huh? Anyways. Just take the potions. Pay me and I'll be on my way. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? Right. It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Hmm. Yeah, probably uh, selling stuff to illegal um, robbers or criminals doing illegal nefarious activities. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Well, then that means you're going to get one less potion. Why don't you Seems drink simple it? enough. Try yourself. I'll do it. I should think so. Ugh. I don't like her. Visibility potion. Which one is that one? This one. See? I'm invisible. What now? Huh? It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. Ah, see, she's I'll jealous. not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. See, that's not right. She's jealous. She's uh, envious of him and his situation. Thinks it was easy for him. Maybe he was lucky. Who knows? Can you tell me about your customers? Yeah. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Hmm. See? Nefarious activities. Very now. well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Then I'll also tell him that, uh, you know, that you're very fond of him. That maybe... You'd go on a date with him if you would just ask nicely. And here, you can take it to a nice restaurant, you know, candlelit dinner, have yourselves a nice little Valentine's Day such dance and dinner and dress up, you know, get rid of that ponytail. He can, you know, sprucing up himself, take a little of that uh, apron off of him, you know, and you guys get over this and have a, a very fruitful and successful business together. I should be going now. Thank you. Mm hmm. Boy, look at my mini map down there. All kinds of stuff around here. Revelio. Um. Where to start? Page here. Chesticles in here. Uh, peanuts, cashews, and uh, pecans. Mm, or not pecans, almonds. Sorry. Delicious. Okay. Okay. Uh. Here. Just gonna jump over fences. So high. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Locked. 
course. Of course. Uh. Eh. Okay. Oh, is that a wanted board? No trolls. You hear that, internet? No trolls. I'm probably going to get all kinds of trolls for that. But no trolls. Hogwarts said itself. Rebellio. Like, ooh. Uh, I will have one. Thank you. Oh. Oh. It was milk. That was milk. Skim, I think. Uh, that that was tasty. That was a little. That was just water. But that was. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. There we go. There's a floof. Fairy dust. Revelio. That ball, right? There you go. Oh, uh, Mr. Luang. Oh my gosh. There's a chest. Is this your chest? Let's take all your stuff. So, push the push. Boom. That's not where it goes. What am I doing? It was leading down this path, right? There it is. Stupid. That's where the gazebo comes out. Come on, see more. Get your head in the game. Okay. So, that way. Not too far. Not too far. I pull it towards me. This time I can pull it. No, I can't. Oh. The tap. Line it up. Little putt putt. Get in there. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Nice. Building his ebo. Building his Freaking joy to the world. I just need to get the furniture, a little chair, a little area for some tea. Okay. Uh, wait. Where am I going? Cemetery.
Back over here. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Move it, sir. Rebellion. Chesty chest. Here. And on the inside of that. <laughs> and underneath the dock. <laughs> Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm going to this. I think there is. Oh, it's locked. Oh, gate's that open already. Death apartment. Rebellion. There you go. There we go. Yeah, for my tea. What's that? Oh, the lovely house. Intrigued. Ooh, underwater cave. Not sure how I got in here when I just like dove straight down. That's how you do it. Rebellion. Hot. Oh, yes. Rebellion. Sitting here peacefully enjoying my cave. You come into my cave, knock me into the water, separate me from my families. Me. 
Let me do it. There you go. Ah, see? Oh. See, he's smart. He, he swam back out. What's your issue? back there. Side mission is done. So, talk to the potions, dude. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Uh, Revelio. Or anything else. Click, say, house. Move here. Okay, app. It's obviously way more places. A layer. Into, but we're gonna go back here. Odds mead. Um, what are they doing here? So we'll move here. Finish the side quest. And then I think we'll call it good after this. There's several more messages, right? About secret stuff. So I think maybe that could be a Does it get any more cozy stuff, than Hogsmeade? You know? Secret all the secret stuffs. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Um, sure. Well, I didn't. can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly <laughs> appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Keenbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? It was in a box. It was unlocked. Therefore, in a field, by itself. I'm going to say it didn't have an owner. 
If it happens to have a signature, then, you know, so be it. Uh, yeah, oh, really. I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. stuff, shadow stuff, secret, secret stuff. And all this is back at the castle. So, um, yeah, let me buy that underbrew real quick. Right here. Right. Sorry, sir. More business? Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. It's a storm around the drink, which was not in doubt with your bayonet. A wise Jeez. decision. Thank you. Expensive. All right. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Look at that. Nice. Revelio. Sneak chests too. Yeah, see, there's one. Sneak, sneak. Ball. Sneakity sneak. Sneak, sneak. Revelio. Slobbering all over the place. Not very uh, uh, sanitary up in here. Revelio. There's another team. Test first. 
she's out by the quidditch. So we will go loof here. And then we're going to call it uh, good on this one, guys. It's more so running around, um, just kind of exploring, collecting some pages, doing some side quests here. Um, had some good conversations with people, you know, argued with some others. But uh, sounds like there's going to be some secret stuff in the next video. Uh, everybody wants to do some illegal activities under the radar activities, if you will. So we will do that in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you're liking the video, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you're thinking. If I missed something in that random cave that I was in that went underwater. Uh, maybe I was just overlooking something stupidly. But uh, just let me know. And I will catch you in the next video, guys. Have a good night. Take it easy. Wherever you are in the world. Laters.